when they bring me to Indianapolis, I meet Mark Thomas, um, who was a Super Bowl champion with the 49ers, and Tony McCoy, who was a defensive lineman for the Colts. Uh, both now were in Indianapolis, and Tony was a first-round draft pick out of the University of Florida. And they both invited me to Bible studies. And, and uh, I had sought kind of started kind of searching a little bit for God when I was out of football for that year. You know, I was working for an electric supply company in North Carolina and started kind of going to church. I had a guy sit me down when I was going to get, uh, when I was going to get married and say, Hey, you need to go before the Lord and, and uh, repent of the way you've lived. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really get it. I mean, you know, I heard it, but I didn't really understand what it meant. And then when Tony and Mark really began to speak into my life, and they asked me, what do you want your legacy to be? And, and legacy meaning as a man, not even as a Christian, because I wasn't at the time. What do you want it to look like? Do you want it to be one of, like one of these guys you're going to play football with? And they told me, you know, go in the locker room, sit down and look around, and then decide who you want to be. And that's what I did. I literally sat in the Colts locker room and looked at all the name tags, you know, Hall of Famers, you name it. Yeah. And I, I decided, you know, I don't want to be – I don't want to be some of those stories, and I, I want to be somebody who stands for something greater than that, and I made the commitment to serve Christ at that point, and um, I, remember, I remember I telling my wife, and they, you, you'll get a kick out of this, and uh, I said, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to Bible studies, and she kind of chuckled just knowing who I was, and she goes, I guess it beats the strip clubs, right? <laughs> and, and so that was the beginning of my face, and so you could see on what side I was on before that, and and. It, um, it was a life-changing, I, I talked about it before with, with, with the kids, you know, life-altering and life-defining moments. It was a life-defining moment, mm -hmm. and there was no looking back. And my wife got saved shortly after, uh, before we ever lived in the house together uh, after we were married, because she was working in North Carolina and I was in Indianapolis. We both get saved, and, and um, we, are, we are still living for the Lord, man. Marriage is good. Family is good. Multiple people in our families have been saved through it. Mm. And God has just been so good, man, and just, just uh, been, so, been so gracious to us. And we're just grateful for all the, all the, the lives that have been changed uh, and, and, and that we've been a part of helping impact. 